Jaime Camille is known for stealing scenes as Jane's wonderfully self-absorbed father <laughs> on the hit series Jane the Virgin. Well, now he's making a splash on Broadway, stepping into the iconic role of Billy Flynn in Chicago. Take a look. I don't care for any fine attire. Vanderbilt might admire. No, no, not me. All I care about is love. All he cares about is love. Joins us live. Welcome back. I'm it's so, so sorry. No, don't. <laughs> Joel watched my opening night, which I was a nerve wreck. It was so oh, fantastic. Really? Fantastic. Wait, it was a blur. I don't know what happened. I'm really? Not. Okay, yeah. so, but wait, what went through your head when you actually got the part for this? Because this is, you know, this is an iconic role. It, it is iconic. It lives in a beautiful universe, and you have to respect the heritage of the role. Of yes. But we're trying to play with a little bit more humor. Because Billy Flynn has great lines. Yes. You know, great lines and funny lines and punch lines. So we're, we're, we're bringing this, that to the, to the character, respecting, of course. But Chicago is such a beautiful play. Yeah. It's so relevant. It, it's so fresh. It looks like we, they put it in like yesterday. And, it's, and I love the fact that it relates only in the human factor. Yeah. We don't have FX or mechanics or this or explosion. You just have this beautiful group of human beings. This tour the force of yes. talent and precision on stage. And that's beautiful. Well, and you're such a uh, you're such a professional at delivering the great one-liners too. That's like your thing. You're <laughs> so you. good at it. But they write brilliant stuff for Rogelio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, they do. Rogelio. Is I love that. Say, say it one more time. Rogelio. Oh, Rogelio. <laughs> you really have to go fast. <laughs> yes. And maybe not understand what you're. Rogelio. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I love it. All right, listen, All right. this is not your first time on Broadway, and I know you do a, a ton of theater also in Mexico, but what is it like stepping into such an iconic role? Because oh it God. is. Like, you understand that people have done this before you. Yeah. Yes, I you do know, it's understand. It's a short list. I don't want to understand too much because then I'm going to get nervous. Yeah. But it's it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful experience to be on Broadway, of course. And as you know, Mambo Kings, 11 years ago, got frustrated, so it was horrible. But now being with this in this beautiful play with so much heritage, the longest American running show mm -hmm. on Broadway, that's just incredible. But not because of that, it's old. No, 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 no. But you, it's super relevant and super fresh. You're lucky, though. You kind of have the best of both worlds. You're doing a limited run, which means you get to kind of pop in there yes. and pop yeah. out and, <laughs> yes. and, you know, have fun with it. Yeah, well, I have to go back to shoot uh, season three of Jane yes. the Virgin. Yes, okay, so just yeah. season two just wrapped of Jane uh -huh. the Virgin, where you play Rogelio. With my third best friend in the world, Bruno Mars. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about your guest stars. You have Bruno Mars, <laughs> you have Charo, you Julie have Britney Reyes, Spears. Britney Spears. So yeah. who is the most difficult? No, oh, oh my God! You want to go there? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, are you Chato, no, no. you're great. Chato, is, everybody's so beautiful, and the good thing about it is that they all thank God they all love the show. Yeah. So it's not like getting them like, please come. It's like, okay, I love the show. When can I come play with you guys? Well, I would love to. It seems like everyone actually really does have just yeah. such a good time shooting that show. With Bruno, it was funny because Bruno, you know, my character is like, no, no, dude, you don't understand. I am Rogelio de la Vega. <laughs> like, I know your lines. Yeah. You, you said Bruno was your third best friend, who's yes. number one in two, uh, two. Yeah, because he was being difficult. When Rogelio was booking him for the wedding, he was being difficult. <laughs> so he was actually the second. Well, the, the number one is Gloria Stefan, obviously, then yes. Oprah Winfrey, and then probably Chato. But then Rogelio <laughs> had to bump Bruno down because Bruno was being difficult when he was booking him for the wedding. Yes. And, you know, we, we know he played the Super Bowl, but this was a Super Bowl of weddings. Yes. You are so. wonderful, my <laughs> friend. I love it. You know, the show is getting a lot of Emmy buzz, you're getting a lot of Emmy buzz. Yeah, what would that mean to you? Well, why are you <laughs> Come your on. Head? Well, because you know, Emmy campaigns are very expensive. And, yeah, oh, uh, yes. Yes, and I think that all the resources of the CW would probably go to my beautiful friend Gina Rodriguez. Ah, uh, yes. But uh, I don't know. This is just, you know, just to be in the employee list of actors of yes. Los Angeles is just a privilege itself. Yeah. And you know, on top of that, you get nominations. Like I've been privileged enough to be in the Critics' Choice or the Teens' Choice mm -hmm. Award nominee, and it's it's, it's beautiful. But, well, the, but the Emmy is a yeah, that's a big beast. deal. But yeah. you're getting to do, do some exciting other things too. I know you're doing. You're part of Princess Elena. Yes, um, Avalar, and that's the Disney's first Latina princess. Okay, listen to this. My daughter's name is Elena. I know the same spelling as a princess. It's gonna air July 22nd, which is my birthday. In case you want to send something to that. the theater and uh, leave a flowers or a gift or whatever. And uh, <laughs> and then it's it's a true Latina princess. Well, she must think it's for her. Yeah, your daughter. Is she it gonna is, be a part of it? Yeah. Is, yeah. is she gonna be a part of it? Well, Laura was saying you do projects for your kids. Yes, you so do. I, I, yeah. All right. Well, you can catch Jamie in Chicago. Hi, May. I'm yeah. sorry. In Chicago <laughs> now through July 3rd. Head to ChicagoTheMusical.com for tickets and more info. Thank you so much, Jaime. Thank you for having me. I love you. Guys, you are the best guys.